Go ahead. ISS and Starliner flight control teams remain go for an on-time undock at 22.04. Please perform 1.106 crew CST-100 approach and departure monitoring steps 2.2 and 2.3. Verbally call Houston when physical step is confirmed. Be advised that NDS hook motors are driving. Space-to-space -space comm may be ready. ISS crew copies ready for undocked monitoring. Thank you, Rob. And we just heard some conversation between the crew on the International Space Station and the teams here in the Starliner Mission Control, confirming that we are continuing to be go for an undock in just under two minutes from now at 5.04 p.m. Central, 6.04 p.m. Eastern. We are standing by for the command of the undock ATP or authority to proceed. Once the authority to proceed is issued for undocking, the NDS or NASA docking system hooks will begin to open, and there are 12 hooks that seal the surfaces between the NDS and the ISS International Docking Adapter, or IDA. Once all 12 hooks are open, springs on Starliner's docking ring will push the spacecraft away from the space station. And Flight Director Chloe Marion just asked for quiet in the room as we are approaching one minute out from Starliner undocking. And we just heard confirmation that the umbilicals are retracting and hooks are beginning to drive. Thirty seconds. Separation confirmed. Starliner is now backing away from station and starting its return to Earth. Starliner thrusters will then complete two short firings to gradually increase the separation speed to help the spacecraft carefully move away from the orbiting lab. The vehicle is now about two meters away from the International Space Station. At the time of undocking, Starliner and the International Space Station were flying approximately 260 statute miles over central China. Starliner will be beginning a breakout burn soon, which will take the spacecraft forward and above station. During this burn sequence, Starliner's thrusters will perform a series of 12 short firings. The entire sequence takes about five minutes to complete and allows Starliner to quickly break out to outside the approach ellipsoid, or AE. And about four minutes into the burn sequence, Starliner will exit the keep out sphere, or the KOS. And you can see those thrusters firing there on the left of your screen as Starliner backs away from Space Station. And we are now just at 35 meters away from the International Space Station. We saw a good first burn. Houston ISS, ISS thrusters enabled. Confirmation, all 27 jets have fired. Houston copies, ISS thrusters enabled. And you're seeing the light show there on your screen.
And the first three of the 12 firings have completed and there's about a 100 second pause until the fourth burn. Starliner is about 60 meters away. And flight controllers are reporting good attitude and good control. We are standing by for the fourth of the 12 burns in the series of firings as part of the breakout burn. As a reminder, the entire sequence will take about five minutes to complete. About four minutes into the sequence, Starliner will cross what is known as the or the keep out sphere. The keep out sphere is an imaginary 200 meter sphere centered on the space station. We are 15 seconds away from the fourth burn in the series of 12. And you just saw burn four, which just completed. We're hearing good burn. And the fifth burn in that sequence of 12 just completed, and it was a good burn. The sixth burn in the series of 12 was just completed and it was a good burn. We have, we are halfway through the series of 12, six more to go. You might be able to see some of those lights on the front of Starliner, a red and a green and a white. Those indicate the different sides of Starliner and they're used by the ISS crew to watch Starliner move away from the ISS along the undocking access. And we just heard good confirmation of both burn seven and eight completed. Starliner undocked approximately five minutes ago and has just a handful of short firings left in its breakout, breakout burn. And it is now about 150 meters away from the International Space Station. And we heard confirmation of a good burn nine, three more to go. Burn 10, good burn. We have one more burn to go, but they have confirmed that Starliner has crossed the keep out sphere or the KOS, which is an imaginary 200 meter sphere centered on the International Space Station that helps flight controllers here on the ground monitor the arrival and departure of visiting vehicles. Station Houston, space to ground two, Starliner has exited the keep out sphere. Copy, she's exited the keep out sphere. A reminder, this automated breakout sequence was chosen to use Starliner's forward thrusters, which have remained nominal during this flight. 
And we heard confirmation that all 12 burns in this series of breakout burn firings have completed and they were all good burns. Starliner has crossed the keep out sphere. So the next milestone for Starliner's departure will be crossing the approach ellipsoid or AE. The AE is another invisible shape monitored by the flight control team measuring four kilometers by two kilometers by two kilometers. Starliner is scheduled to cross the approach ellipsoid in about 10 minutes. Vehicles outside the AE have to be on what we call a 24 hour safe free drift trajectory, which means the spacecraft would not cross into the approach ellipsoid for at least 24 hours, even if it lost all maneuvering capabilities. Once outside the approach ellipsoid, joint operations between Starliner, Mission Control, and the International Space Station Flight Control Room will conclude and Starliner will be on a path back to Earth.